Prometheus. Prometheus.com. This is an amazing, in my opinion, website that will do your DNA, the raw data that you get from other websites, and you plug it in. And what they'll do is they'll generate a report, and with that information, you'll be able to see, you know, your different parts of your DNA, the segments, um, and what they mean, what you, what your, um, oh goodness, your good, bad, and, you know, neutral zones of things that you have. So, um, quick disclaimer, I am not a scientist, nor am I a doctor or anything other than just a person, normal, like you, <laughs> just doing my thing and researching and having fun and being curious. So, in my curiosity, I took my raw data DNA from 23andMe, which is wonderful, and Ancestry.com. Um, I found it interesting that they both gave me different um, Ancestry. So, of course, I mean, that is fascinating. And um, I am very aware that DNA is a relatively new research um, platform, in a sense. And um, with that, what they're doing is they're still learning the same way we are, but I mean, on a much higher level. And um, with that, they are gathering people's DNA, doing what they can for research and giving out what they have at the moment and of course improving. So um, with the Prometheus, they do let you know that it's educational and for research. Um, they also know that, um, you know, you can take this report to your doctor but they will give and take what they want. One heads up, just because it's on your DNA, you have this DNA, you know, mutation or whatever, it doesn't mean that it has to manifest. And so like that's a heads up for any of them. And I think even on 23andMe, when they give you your health report, it's what you do with the information. Um, there can be scary things. There are scary things on mine, like heavens, you know, I don't know, heavens to Batsy, right? Old woman saying, but I see there are some scary things, um, but does it mean I have it now? It just says I may have a higher likelihood or maybe I do have it. It was able to find a rare uh, genetic mutation on mine very easily. And um, with that, that's you know something you have, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna feel the symptoms or whatever. So you know, don't get too wrapped up in it. It's interesting to see and it may give you some confirmation that you already know or it may be something new that you may want to research or look into you know so those are some things uh let's see i wanted to show that it the first thing that it popped up female yes i am female and um the jack 2 um v6 variant present so that was a big deal i mean it was able to immediately find that i had um, a mutation on one of my genes. Um, it also goes on and tells you the repute, how, you know, bad or whatever it is, um, your concern. Um, I do find it interesting that you can actually type in different things. Um, and with those, it'll give you an explanation. It will also, um, with that, give you something to refer to, maybe another disease that it's referencing or the research behind it. Um, it can say, you know, in this um, group of people, um, non-Caucasians is saying, for non-Caucasians, the risk is increased, but SNPedia, SNP, EDIA, whatever, um, is what Prometheus is, has not yet seen any reliable estimates. See, I like that they kind of say, you know, this is what we have, here's our information, this is what we're doing with it, and we're still in this research game also, so we're giving you what we do have take it or leave it. I really appreciate just their openness, their honesty, and saying, hey, this is what we see that you have, and um, work with it, research it, study, but we're giving you these basic tools. I love that. I love the honesty, and I love the imperfection. And there's, you know, it's just wonderful. Um, another thing that's great about Prometheus is it does talk about, um, so I put in two, uh, pieces of raw data. And I think the first one was $5, $5. 
and the second was like seven or something like that. I can't recall, but it, even if it's 10 bucks each, I don't know, but it is not, um, it's not a bad thing. Here you are supporting someone who took the time to actually do this. They're running this and you know, it's nice to see your reports. This thing has been very helpful, um, for myself to even see it. Um, and I've recommended it to other people who are kind of going through a phase of trying to figure out what's wrong with their health. Maybe there's something that the doctors don't quite know yet. And I know getting a DNA test with your doctor for a certain disease, which I had to have, right? They had to have certain clearances, it's expensive, it's another copay. And not saying that this is your medical record or anything to confirm it, but it might be helpful to you and to talk to your doctor about, about leading on a different path, not to ever be your medical advice. You know what I mean? I'm saying, I don't know how to explain it. I am a normal person. This is a website, anything medical, get it from your doctor or someone else who's actually trained in it. That's my disclosure on that one. Um, but I do find this fascinating and I did bring it up to my doctor cause it was really cool. I couldn't pull it up fast enough in his office though. And I'm like, you know, what? I'll do it next time. And he's very interested. It is, um, interesting. I actually type in mutation. I got a few mutations. I already knew that, but, um, unfortunately I have that M T H F R one. I don't know enough about it, but I do know that on these, um, MPN sites that I've been on, they talk about that. I don't know. I don't know what all that means. Honestly, I know I have it and I don't know all the distinct, whatever I need to be doing with it. I'll bring it up to my doctor and let her kind of figure that out because I don't know. I'll gather whatever information I can and let her kind of figure out what she knows because she has a much bigger background than I do. So those are interesting things. You can actually type it in. You can see how it is. Now I do have the raw data from my mom. She gave me permission to put hers in there. It was very interesting. I saw some things I inherited from her and some things were completely missing. So very cool. Um, this is a lot of fun. When I didn't know about the Prometheus report, I went on Snipedia. I think that's how you say it, S-N-P-E-D-I-A. And that is where I was, I was going line for line on my 23andMe, just being curious, learning about DNA, finding it fascinating, like this whole new world. And I like to expand my horizons. I mean, right now I'm a stay at home mom. Don't think I don't love it because I do. Um, and I am trying to navigate my new lifestyle, my whole new life. I'm trying to do housework, cleaning and outside and redoing and this and that. But I, I need something different to stimulate my mind. I do. And I, I, to me, I feel like if I'm not growing mentally somehow, something new, something fascinating and not all the news blathering, all those other things. If I, if I can't find something click that's new, it, I feel like sad or depressed or something like I need this invigoration in my brain. Like, Ooh. so anyway, I found it very fascinating. Um, with that, I was doing it the hard way, right? Um, then I realized you could actually get a Prometheus report and I was like, what am I doing? So it takes a little bit with ancestry. Ancestry actually makes you request it. It's hard to find once you find it, then you request it. And then they send you something to verify. And are you sure you want this? It's out of our hands. Yes, yes, yes. My opinion, that's what I said. And so then you're able to go. And so that one took a little while. 23andMe, actually, I think it's actually connected. So it's really easy. You just sign in through this. Boom, it takes it over and it's wonderful. Um, I compared my two. I put one from Ancestry, one from 23, and one with both, right? And they're all pretty much the same. They just take your stuff. So it was very cool. The good thing is, is, um, with Prometheus, they say, Hey, you know, this may be miscalled by whatever platform you're using. Um, if it is a miscall, then you do or don't have this. If it, it's not miscalled, you may have this, you know, read into it, look into it, something like that. So I thought that was cool. Um, they go over some of those. It is an extremely slow website. It is not super pretty or fantastic with pictures or, you know, zappy, wow, wow. It's not. But uh, the cool thing is it's interesting. And it'll give you a little more information. 
Um, for me, I found it fascinating that it found immediately um, the mutation. It also found some others. I know that they update theirs. They just recently updated theirs. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's, it's, it's nice to know. And again, I did this. So my son has information and um, it'll be good for him in the future. It's something for my, my husband, my sisters. I gave my sisters access. I mean, we have pretty close genes, right? Um, they can look at that, see if there's anything they're concerned about on their own. And of course, they will have different, but why not have some reference point, right? Um, anyhow, I found Prometheus wonderful. Um, price was great. The time to do it, it takes a while because it's super duper slow, but um, it's something you can, you know, be okay with. And I find um, just being able to look in, be curious, learning it even if it tells you nothing about yourself you learn something about dna and i find that fascinating so it's um something new something to learn about um i really enjoyed it if you don't get the health extension on 23andme um you could consider just paying like five ten bucks whatever it was for this and boom, it's not as pretty, not as cute, not as fun as 23andMe by any means. Um, but it is very cool because it goes through, you know, more sciencey stuff. Um, I like it. I find it helpful. I'm kind of trying to navigate my own disease, right? And with that, um, I'm looking at the little genetic things. I'm going to try and bring some attention to my doctor and say, hey, let's work with this. Um, interesting thing is I know that when uh, when I get any teeth work or whatever and they do those injections the numbing stuff just doesn't really work on me it's like brutal the surgery on my back they put numbing it does not work um, they had to like completely knock me out for the last thing I had and um, apparently according to this I um, I don't I guess metabolite or something like that some medications like some of it just simply won't work on me <laughs> my body's like no no thanks you know so it's interesting because it talks about what medicines do and don't work and some medicines just aren't working on me and you know um caffeine i can load up on caffeine and zonk out um that's there's many reasons behind that but also it's like i metabolize it really quickly and boom you know so i don't know i find it fascinating I think that Prometheus is just a wonderful um, thing to look at for your information so you have a reference if you want to follow up on things, if you want to talk to your doctor about it for your own use, um, you know, for curiosity's sake. I would totally recommend doing it um, from a lay person who's just curious. If you're going to have your DNA, raw DNA anyhow, why not? I don't know um, any other implications or anything else. I'm recommending on the curiosity level. So, um, very cool information. If you have any suggestions, like, you know, do you have another website that you use? Anything else that would be just wonderful and interesting and um, uplifting or, I guess, just intriguing in a way that would help me kind of expand knowledge, um, please let me know. I find this fascinating and I need to do something something else I need to expand my brain um, anyhow if you want to hear more from me please let me know what you'd like to know um, also subscribe to my channel and like the, the videos um, I'm still learning YouTube I want to reach out and help people and I think just kind of explaining things in my life I don't know, normal human stuff, things that I do when I found out I had a disease and suddenly I'm like, well, let's, you know, share with the world now. Um, I'm just trying to give out what I think would have helped me. I'm trying to spread the wealth of information and experience and hopefully love. Like, I hope people feel loved. Anyhow, um, again, 23andMe, Ancestry DNA and Prometheus, pretty awesome fascinating, intriguing. I will be updating as soon as I get my dad's information, if he lets me.